think what the district attorney or Seth Williams wanted to do most um, is he wanted closure for his family and for himself and for the city. It's unfortunate that periodically we have to gather like this and address corruption in the city and in the state of Pennsylvania. Disgraced Philadelphia District Attorney Seth Williams, the first African-American ever to hold that job, is literally behind bars right now after pleading guilty to a single count of accepting a bribe from a businessman. After pleading guilty in federal court, Williams said he was sorry and immediately resigned his position. As part of his plea deal, Williams had to admit to the following, accepting uh, gifts from two businessmen in exchange for legal favors, using thousands of dollars from his campaign fund for personal expenses, Miss using city vehicles and misappropriating money intended to fund his mother's nursing home care. The judge then said he did not trust Williams to appear in court for sentencing in October after what he heard during this trial, so he me immediately ordered him to jail. Folks, this is extremely rare in federal cases where uh, even other elected officials who have actually been involved in corruption were allowed to uh, report later and be sentenced, spending the last uh, few months with their family. Not this, not this particular uh, gentleman. Joining me now is Vincent Thompson, political correspondent for WURD 900 AM radio in Philadelphia. He's covered this case from the beginning. Uh, Vincent, it was stunning for so many people, the first black DA in Philadelphia. So much hope folks had there. Now he, here he is going to prison. Says a lot where the judge said, you can't go home, you go to jail now. Roland, we had had a trial for about seven days. And then all of a sudden, you come in the court yesterday, and the uh, district attorney, who had been saying he was innocent all along, was fight the charges, admitted to a plea deal. Uh, what happened was yesterday, right after court, apparently Mr. Williams and his attorney started to talk. And it was then that Mr. Williams said, you know what, I'm going to take this plea deal if it's still on the table. That happened at 1 o'clock in the morning. The attorney contacted the federal prosecutor, and by 1.30 in the morning, Seth Williams had agreed to take the plea deal, and by 10 o'clock in the morning, it was announced in court. I think everyone was stunned and uh, surprised. But I think if you look, he probably made the best deal for his family. Uh, by taking this deal, he gets to serve five years in prison and has to uh, give $250,000 in restitution. If he had lost the case, he would have possibly had to serve 20 years in jail. And he has two young daughters uh, as well. They're teenagers. So he probably took Vin the right Vincent, deal. Vincent, was the evidence that damning? It wasn't good. Uh, it, and this was even before his chance to testify happened. And we spoke to a lot of jurors afterwards. And they said if, uh, if they had to uh, convict, they probably would have convicted at that time. I would have liked to have seen it gone through its logical conclusion because I think he might have been able to win this case. He might have been able to convince at least one juror that he was innocent on all charges, but I think he just saw the evidence uh, piling up on him and said, you know what, I'd rather take five years than to lose it and go to jail for 20. And, of course, a lot of black folks in Philadelphia uh, stunned by this. There was so much promise and hope for the bl first black DA. Now that's out the window. Uh, and, of course, you had a white progressive who won the Democratic nomination uh, who will, like, who will, of course, you know, literally win in November. And that's true. Uh, right now, uh, Seth Williams did not run for re-election. Um, a white progressive, his name is Larry Krasner, uh, won the Democratic nomination. He is facing Beth Grossman, a Republican in the November election. But it brings up an interesting thing, Roland. Uh, now that Seth Williams has resigned, now our board of judges get to pick his successor to serve in the interim. So the question is, will it be the current uh, first assistant district attorney, Kathleen Martin, who they'll keep in office? Could it be another person? Or in a city like Philadelphia, it wouldn't surprise me if one of the candidates that are running nominates themselves to serve. And in a Democratic city, it's out, possibly could happen that Larry Krasner could be nominated by the Board of Judges to serve in office, you know, that limited time and then win the election in November and take over for the full term in January. You never know in Philadelphia. We, All know, right, Vincent like Thompson, W. Comfortable with each other. 
uh, Vincent Thompson. And of course, there's people are still reeling from the fact that former Congressman Shaka Fatah uh, uh, was, uh, of course, found guilty and is in prison uh, for corruption as well. So a big hit to black political leaders there uh, in Philadelphia. Vincent Thompson, we appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Rowan. Weekdays on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh, my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't no cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. <laughs> Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin. Weekdays at 7 a.m on TV One.